the Lord is set to do great things here this morning. Things that will become positive history for you. Therefore, with a loud voice and with a voice that is full of expectation. Remember, the Bible says Paul and Silas were locked up. At midnight, they prayed and sang praises. Their praises and singing brought earthquake of deliverance. Somebody will receive an earthquake of deliverance here today. That will bring you a turnaround breakthrough. Therefore, sing this song of praises with the whole of your strength. Do violent praises. Who is like on the way? Oh, who is like on the way? Oh, Lord, I'm on the God. Who is like me? You are glorious. If only that I'm careful to pray. Always do the wonders I live. Sing it again loud and clear. Who is like all to see? Hallelujah. Oh, oh Lord, who is like all to me? Oh, oh Lord. Oh, my God, who is like me, glorious in holiness and fearful in prayer. Oh, yes, who he wonders hallelujah. All other gods, they are the works of man. You have the There is no light. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 you are the one. There is no Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, louder than anyone around you, you will now sing this song. Pass me not to gentle sea if you're my uncle. Cry. Why on all my stars do you not pass? Savior, 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 Savior! Hallelujah! Why on all my stars do you not pass? Jesus, 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 Jesus! My humble cry, why not all that start go? Be you the past me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now it's one prayer I want you to pray before you sit down now. That prayer will bring testimonies in ten areas as you are praying this prayer right now not when you get home right now the yoke of satanic delay shall break as you are praying this prayer right now there are those who have been fighting battles for years and have been crying out when will my deliverance come all of a sudden this battle that has been confronting you shall be silenced as you pray this prayer there are certain people here the enemy had programmed organs into their body to be misbehaving in their body system 
what the enemy has programmed shall be deprogrammed as you pray this prayer the surgeons of the almighty will begin to move about and they begin to cut off what should be cut off as you pray this prayer there are people here in your times of ignorance satanic priests satanic prophets they lay hands on you the effect of that evil laying up of hands shall be wiped off as you pray this prayer those who have been going through what you call cobweb attacks the cobweb attacks is a power that wants to make you stale the power that wants to put your life on the shelf that wants to commit you to the school of abandonment all of a sudden fire shall fall and destroy the cobweb of darkness as you pray this prayer if you have if you grow to your body begin to check it because they will begin to disappear as you pray this prayer the spirit of death that the enemy has put in the womb of some people and has been causing miscarriages and misabortions all of a sudden you will feel a pull in your womb area and those things shall come out completely as you pray this prayer too there are people who have been going to particular places they have been saying no way no way no way what's going to be happening is that they will start running after you to come as you pray this prayer to those who have been mocked by members of their household they shall receive testimonies <laughs> sisters are you here today boys and girls are you here today brothers are you here today pray this with boiling anger the bible makes a very deep statement in the book of matthew he said while men slept his enemies came while men slept his enemies came meaning that the majority of our trouble comes when we sleep can you shout this now with boiling anger the enemy that came while i slept can I hear you shouting that loud and clear? There is somebody over there. You are from Ikorodu. You should shout this prayer with all your voice because that's how you will be delivered today. Can I hear you shouting it again? Is that the loudest who can shout it? Jesus, open your mouth and begin to decree. Something must happen to you now. Now, now, now. The Santa Capentela Kayaba, the Ribos upon the Kayabo Shentela Bokolaba. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. This is not a day to negotiate. This is not a time to negotiate. This is not a negotiating period. Continue. Continue, 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 continue. Masoponde ke yabo shende rabo konte raba. Yes. Potanda kapoka. Rima la kapanda ke yabo shente raba. The power of God. Move, 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 move. Move, 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 move. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Yes, enough is enough. Let her go. Let her go. The power holding to her waist. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Bakantanda ya boshende raboko potaraba. Ribosoponda kaya boshende raboko nta. 
Mana ribo sopola kaya bo shente raba kalabo. Deke tenda kaya bo shende rabo kopola baraba. Mana ribo sopia li katenda kaya bo shanda. Thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. Amen. Let me congratulate all those who pray those prayers. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this morning. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, we are gathered here today because we know you are the only one who can bless us. We thank you for what you have been doing in these programs. We praise your only name for your unrighting of power and strength. And we thank you because you are a God of turnaround. We thank you because you are higher than the highest and glorious than the most glorious. We give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. We are gathered before you again. You have already started to move in our midst. Let there be no one here this morning who will go home empty handed. In the name of Jesus. And by the time you come here again, you are going to be a bigger bundle of testimonies. To you, Father, be the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Give somebody a big smile. Come on, give the person a big smile. And say, my friend, the arrows of divine favor that look at you. In the name of Jesus. Say it to your friend three times. Amen. Give another person a big smile. Another person now. Give the person a big smile. Say, my friend, the mouth that mocked you will turn around to congratulate you in the name of Jesus. Say it to your friend three times. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now, before you sit down, I want you to say this to seven persons. Make sure there are seven in number. Count them. Make sure they are correct. Look at somebody straight in the hand. So, my friend, every witchcraft bird flying against you shall fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Say it to seven persons. Shout it loud, hallelujah. Let's have a seat. God bless you. This morning, the Lord has sent us back to something we had done many years before. And He said, This is what He wants us to do here today. And I'd like you to listen very carefully. And when the time comes to strike out with all the power you have, crushing polygamous witchcraft, crushing polygamous witchcraft. Sisters, what did I say just now? And brothers, you may say that the word crush looks too aggressive, but I did not start it. In Exodus chapter 22, was 18 exodus 22 18. it was the lord jehovah that started it and had given us a mandate anywhere there is power of witchcraft our duty is to kill it 
so for i've given you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon every every power of the enemy whether it's familiar spirit whether it's witchcraft whether it's sorcery every power i've given you power to tread upon them say i trample upon every serpent and scorpion assigned against my destiny in the name of jesus shout it one more time exodus chapter 22 verse 18 it says thou shall not suffer a witch to live meaning that anywhere you find the power of witchcraft operating your duty as a believer is to kill it listen to these important statements which will help you to fight today number one the enemy holds on to any ground he has taken from us before our conversion unless we take it out of his hand many things that born again christians are suffering from now are things that happen in their days of ignorance number two some may feel that warf our spiritual warfare is too bold and too loud but there has, ne there has never been any quiet war war is noisy bombs are not quiet war is never quiet three there are surface problems and there are deep problems surface problems you can pray some small small prayers simple simple prayers it clears away but the deeper ones you'll have to take time i pray that every deep and mysterious problem troubling anywhere here today shall be buried alive it is bad enough when somebody is fighting at one battlefront when a man or a woman is now fighting from five different seven different battlefronts it can be serious indeed if you don't understand those battles you just find that you are praying you are praying you are praying it's as if the prayers are not working simply because there are different battles but you are praying general prayers prayers have to be specific and direct statement number four the best way to escape from a problem is to solve it solve it and statement number five problems cannot be solved at the level of awareness of the power that caused it you must go above the level of that power to solve it and you see the only place where a man can escape from problem is the grave on the grave no other, no other way to escape statement number six some problems cannot be solved not because people cannot see the solution but they cannot see the problem a person may have trouble you know there's a solution but you can't really see what the trouble is unfortunately in life there is nothing very bad that cannot be made worse so if actions are not taken things get worse there is a power that has turned many mighty men to dwarfs there is a power that has turned in day of many to night there is a power that has turned the glory of so many people to ashes there is a power that has built and decorated graveyard for many brilliant people there is a power that has converted promotion to demotion there is a power that has converted motion to stagnancy there is a power that has turned success to failure there is a power that has turned palaces to prison yard. There is a power that has turned progress to the desert. This is the power of polygamous witchcraft. There is a pastor in this mountain of fire. The father had only 18 wives. And he had only 67 children. Pastor is number 55 but he is the only graduate in the whole of those 67 children the multiple wives saw to it that they battled their children to stand still this pastor spent 
eight and a half years to get a degree that takes three years. That is the power of polygamous witchcraft. As I speak to you this morning, I feel very sad in my heart about the destruction this power has caused. On the wedding day of a sister, she was the second child out of six children in a polygamous home. The senior wife came to her on the eye table. <laughs> Say, there are six children. Only you has got a degree. Only you has married. Is that how they do it? Are you the only one? Say, okay. Yeah, you, have, you, have, you, have, you want to marry? You have married now. Let's see you have children. At the eye table, I pray. At the enemy that appears on your day of glory shall be buried alive. Shall be buried alive. Be buried alive. Shall be buried alive. Shall be buried alive. Shall be buried alive. In the name of Jesus. I'm beginning from that month. The sister never saw a menstruation again. And she was not pregnant. Before this time, she had regular 30 days menstruation. Then the thing just vanished. Doctors could not explain. Just vanished. And she struggled with that for 12 years. Any power that wants us to struggle, an evil struggle, shall be buried alive. Shall be buried alive. Shall be buried alive. Shall be buried alive. Be buried alive. In the name of Jesus. That was what brought her to the mountain of fire. But before that time, she was dancing away in churches. She came, gave her some prayers of prayer. Pray the prayers. And the Lord said, we should tell her, what you want is a baby. You are not looking for menstruation. It's a baby you want. Is that also? Beloved, without any menstruation coming again, she got pregnant. Your God shall arise. And your enemies are scattered. Many, many high-flying African people have been completely buried by these powers. Which is very, very sad. I've seen many, many things in my life. Sometimes, when I begin to tell people what I've seen, someone will say, this is not possible. Someone will say, this is bad. This is telling us superstition. Well, if anybody will tell you superstition, is definitely not Dr. Lukoya. I trained as a scientist. Many strange things. But the one that, has, that shook me most, I've seen a woman, instead of normal menstruation, she menstruates maggots every 20 days. I've seen that one before. I've seen a man who went to a prostitute, didn't pay the prostitute, didn't pay the correct money, the person said, I will show you pepper. And from that day, his manhood was becoming longer and longer and longer until it was touching the ground. By the time the wife brought him to Mountain of Fire, he was wrapping it around his waist. Yes. I've seen somebody who got married on the afternoon of a Saturday like this. By 6 o'clock in the evening, when they got home, his male organ had disappeared. Shocking as those things may sound, but none shook me like something that happened about four years ago it happened to a man of god this man of god was 70 years old he had been a pastor for 50 years he became a pastor before i was born the 70 year old pastor now fell into the sin of fornication with a 20 year old girl who is younger than his last daughter and he caught them so this old pastor came and said, Dr. Luka, you must help me. I was puzzled that I've been a pastor for 50 years and this could happen. Then I began to question him. Then I discovered that his father had only 14 wives. And that spirit of polygamy had been pursuing him since I was not able to catch up with him. I pray that any power pursuing you to disgrace you shall be disgraced 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 in the name of jesus 
there is something in deliverance we call stepmother's warfare a woman had six boys went out of her marriage another woman got into the marriage she had one son making seven boys in all six from the first wife one from the stepmother now before this woman got into the home all these six boys were normal all of a sudden all those six boys started to become mad all six boys were in the psychiatric hospital only our son was left at home witchcraft is bad enough but when it is mixed with polygamy it can be vicious and wicked and terrible polygamous witchcraft is responsible for so many terrible situations in which the black man finds himself readers of the bible will recognize that polygamy started in the line of the murderer Cain not the godly line of Seth. The first recorded polygamist was the murderer called Lamech in Genesis 4.23. Then Esau, who despised his birthright, caused a lot of heartache and grief for his parents when he married two pagan wives in Genesis 26. God now banned kings from multiplying wives. Deuteronomy 17 17. Deuteronomy 17 17. The Almighty says, Neither shall he multiply wives to himself, that is apt on not away. That's what God said about kings. And when the kings disobeyed and they were multiplying wives, problems began to multiply. Polygamy is deeper than we think is a thing of the spirit is a thing of the heart you may not practice physical polygamy but you could be practicing spiritual polygamy in your heart you are still liable for the consequences polygamy is the practice of having more than one wife or more than one husband there are over 40 polygamies in the bible but the original divine design is one man one wife the waters of polygamy is bitter and it has polluted and darkened so many destinies. Unfortunately, this bitter water flows down generational line. What is the spiritual meaning of polygamy? It's having an official or unofficial extra wife or husband. It is ancestral polygamy. You may not be a polygamist now, but if you check your foundation, you check your ancestors, you find that they are polygamous, you better pray because there is a water that is likely to flow into you. Polygamy is strange woman agenda. Any man going about with strange woman is actually practicing polygamy. It could be a concubine agenda. All the accidental pregnancy partners is polygamy all the young young ladies young young girls and now they already have five boyfriends two boyfriends three boyfriends they have started already a man five girlfriends four boyfriends they have started polygamy already they have already become a golden eaglet in the matter when a person has great difficulty in keeping to one partner that's the spirit of polygamy when something is in you that wants to be testing women and sampling women and men all over the place it's the polygamy when you are a man but you have a great preference for the company of the opposite sex is polygamy you are a woman too you prefer the company of men more than women it's polygamy there used to be a musician in this country who goes about with 27 wives when broken homes divorce broken homes divorce is plaguing you it's polygamy spirit or you find that the guilting anointing is affecting you it's the spirit of polygamy or the person is to an unconscious marriage you've been married up from the womb as a baby you didn't know there's still the spirit of polygamy royal family marriage from royal family is all spirit of polygamy when somebody is nursing an ambition to have multiple number of children from all area at any cost polygamy unholy relationship between the master and the housemaid is still polygamy all the inherited wives is polygamy the magnet of men the magnet of women i don't know why women are always running after me i don't know why men are always running after me it is a bad spirit it's polygamy whenever there is polygamy in a family line in the blood line 
the offsprings are not safe unless they cut it off and they deal with it polygamy is the breeding ground of one of the most acidic operation of witchcraft why it's because of what is written in james chapter 3 james chapter 3 verse 16 james 3 16 for where envying and strife is there is confusion and every every evil work where envying and strife is there you will find confusion and every the bible says every evil work because envying and strife is always in polygamous homes there is every evil work there quarrels strife unrest rivalry envy lack of peace evil competition hatred tension poverty terrible poverty wretched poverty this is the terrible things that happen in polygamous witchcraft one day one man came from the farm and he took his den gun went to the bedroom of the fifth wife who asked the junior male and shot that male dead the first wife was the first person to jump up ah, what evil is this what taboo is it but she was the one that programmed it wives in polygamous homes they are engaging witchcraft for several reasons number one to catch their husbands number two to divert his love from the other wives number three to overpower and maneuver and manipulate the other wives number four to protect their children number five to defend their own interests number six to destroy the lives of the children of other wives number seven to seek for the strongest satanic power for survival number eight to get a sizable portion of all the wealth if the man is wealthy number nine to battle against the fear of the unknown number 10 is to transfer virtues from promising children beloved herein lies the major problem many of us are fighting all the oppression teenage pregnancies unexplainable rape promiscuity children prostitution broken homes premature death high maternity death rate low life expectancy suicide domestic stress mental illness plenty of children doing conductors in the buses weak family units general human underdevelopment rivalry with number of children in order to get more wealth poverty transfer of demons and diseases fornication adultery vagabond children illegitimate children they are all the outflow of the power of polygamy unsuccessful children most of the children from polygamous homes in the bible did not make it unexplainable failure all these are outflow of polygamous witchcraft what are we to do number one we need to surrender our lives to jesus number two we need complete repentance number three we need to make necessary restitution if it's, if we have to number four is warfare prayers to break yourself free it's a tragedy when the person who has put a person in bondage is dead and he or she has gone away with the key and nobody knows what to do we have to declare warfare i've shared this testimony with you before let me share it again i used to have a friend in those days my friend called aremu failed all available examinations the only exam aremu did not fail was the one he did not take he failed the work exam the gc exam nine times f9 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 all subjects it was so bad that there was a particular year he didn't take the work exam why sent him result that he failed one day he came to a meeting like this he had the word of god at the violent ticketed by force he got home and prayed 
Father, show me the secret behind this problem. And the Lord opened his eyes. He saw all his books arranged on a table. And the sixth wife of his father was sitting on it. Because the father had only six wives. He got upset. Packed his bag. Went to his hometown. All the wives lived in a single block like this. And there is a corridor separating them. The father gave them one, one room each. His own mother was the first wife. When he arrived there, they greeted him. And they were welcome. He did not answer. The eyes were red. He stood in the corridor. Twelve midnight. He started prayers. And he began to move up and down. Up and down the corridor. Ah, it was a terrible night. What did Aremu not call that night? He called fire. He called thunder. He called lightning. He called brimstone. He called pepper. He called onet. It was a terrible night. Nobody came out to go to the toilet. He did it from 12 to 6 a.m. Then at 6 a.m., he packed his bags. He said, I know all of you can hear me. Special announcement. I am going back to Lagos now. If I fail any other examination, I shall be back here. And it shall be more terrible. Do you know what? He never failed any examination again. <laughs> right from the days of John the Baptist until now. The kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And the violent taken it by force. Kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And the violent take it by force our people who translate to preaching english in worry the violent take it by force they translate it as the people will not go greedy they will take them by greedy that's what Aramu did he took it by greedy rise up on your feet now all eyes closed if you are here now and you are not born again you have just surrendered your life to jesus you can't fight this kind of powers so wherever you are while all eyes are closed just find a way to the altar i want to pray with you you say pastor i want to surrender my life to jesus i want to win the battle of my life while all eyes are closed just find a way to the altar here jesus is waiting for you you are coming very quickly God bless us to do so. Those of you at the altars, I congratulate you. Taking the most important decision in life. Just bow down your heads and see what I'm going to say now after. Me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. I know you sent Jesus to die for me. I know that I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. Take control of my life as from now. I say bye bye to the kingdom of darkness. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for these your children. I pray that you keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands upon their lives. The decision they've taken to let it be permanent in their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Open your eyes. The counselors are with you there. They'll talk to you. Listen to what they have to say to you. The rest of us, let's close our eyes and begin to confess our sins to the Lord. Confess the sins on behalf of your ancestors and your family life. Confess your own sins if you know that you are guilty of spiritual polygamy. Ask Him to forgive you. So that when we begin to pray now, you too can be a beneficiary 
of the awesome power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank the Lord that anything that will keep any bondage in place today that the Lord should forgive you wash you clean with his blood Jesus is here his power is here Amen rise up on your feet now beloved it is possible that when we start this prayer some may feel very very uncomfortable some may have blinding flashes of headaches some may feel dizzy it is because the axe is now touching the blood nothing to worry about you just continue praying the prayers especially this first seven that i want you to pray now then before we go, for, go away from here we we'll pray the final seven to put a seal on everything god will do here today and i started doing this is not a day to negotiate this is not a day to pray like a gentleman a gentlewoman and as from the days of john the baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force. The people will not go agree. They will take them by greed. Gri. Say this after me, sisters. My virtues. Totally my polygamous witchcraft. As a sister that needs to pray this prayer with only anger. Brothers, can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? Everybody together now! Be released by fire! In the name of Jesus! There must be a release here today. Yes. Something is happening over there. Something is happening over there. Bakapote sente yabo shente raba. Riapole kende yabo sente raba. In Jesus name we pray. Uh -huh. Making progress. That's right. That inherited trouble. That has been plaguing your life. As the silence now. That's right. The agent of untimely death that is giving you this one sided headache has been disgraced now. <laughs> That's right now. Thank you, Jesus. Say, polygamous umbrella. Polygamous. Covering my star. Can you do it with only madness? Fire! In the name of Jesus. That's right. Basente kaya bo shende la bo kola basanda. Ripotende kaya bo shente la bo kola ba. Tereke setende kaya bo shende la bo kola baraba. Bakaya bo shente la bakaya bo sente ya ba. Manari bo soponde kaya bo shente. Yes. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. I wish you could see what is happening now. Oh, yes, sir. The arrow fired into your head as a baby. Don't fire into your womb as a baby. These arrows are coming out now. They are coming out. They are coming out. 
देखो भी ना ना दस राइट फाउंडेशन ऑफ अली गामी ऑफ माई फादर्स आ इन द नेम ऑफ जीजस Bakate sente ya bo shende ra bo koto la baraba dana ribo sopende ke ya bo shente ra ba yes 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 bo kosente ya bo shende ra ba in Jesus name we pray this particular prayer. As we begin to pray it, healings will begin to take place. Breakthroughs will begin to happen. Like someone here, your brain was removed by polygamous witchcraft, but the Lord has returned it now. I say, woman over there, you have been praying about your husband. The arrow of strange human fired into his life has been removed now. Particular prayer, pray it with merciless violence. Every curse issued against me while I was in the womb. Pray in the name of Jesus. Break them. Oh yes Jesus 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 Masse pende ke ya bo shende ra bo kola ba kara ba sanda ya ba Riba se pende ke ya bo shente E Jesus name we pray That person who came here this morning and you said Lord let the man of god mention my own case today this word is for you that what you had in your mind has become mighty testimonies that's right makatenda yaboshenderaba as we pray this next prayer if you are in this meeting now and something has been telling you take off your clothes run into the streets take off your clothes Run into the streets, and you have been resisting it, resisting it. Find a way to the altar now. Be on your knees and pray with violence and holy madness. I see the Lord removing spiritual lags from somebody. Your poverty has been written off. I see somebody about that too. The Lord is giving you the miracle of cancel debt. Somebody over there with a visa breakthrough. That's right. That's right. What a wonderful God we serve. You cancer, I speak to you now. That place you are is not your habitation. Clear away in the name of Jesus. All the evil boils, the arnia, the lumps, the fibroids, the kidney stones, the problem in the liver. Vanish now in the name of Jesus. Right there where you are. Lay your hands on any part of your body that is sick. Makopota ribo senda kaya boshanda. It is written that Jesus himself bore our infirmities and took away our sicknesses. The chastisement of our pieces upon him and by his stripes we are healed. Receive your healing now. Receive it 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 now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, it's happened to you. That's the healing power of God. 
Baka tenda ribo sopo la kaya bo shendera ba. Nana kapon tende kaya bo shendera ba. Yes, that's the healing power of God. It's coming upon you, it's coming upon you. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. 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 So every battle program into my life by polygamous witchcraft. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? I want you to shout it even louder than that. In the name of Jesus. That's right. We are not here to play. We are here for serious business. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Basente kaya bo shende rabo koraba. Barbo sepande ka. Mana katanda kaya bo shende rabo koraba. Peli katanda kaya bo shente. Tanda go shakes. This is not a death to negotiate. Not a death to negotiate. Aha, 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 aha. Makatera ya boko shendera bo sento. Not a death to negotiate. Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Those of you at the altar, stretch your right hand towards me here. Father, let your fire, your anointing, your power flow into these hands now. As you lay these hands on your head, let any arrow fired into your brain go back to the senders. In the name of Jesus, any power that wants you to run mad, they shall die. In the name of Jesus. Lay that hand on your head now. And keep it there. For a few seconds. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let your anointing fall upon these your children here. Let the yoke of the enemy and the yoke of insanity be broken. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. Sir. If you are in this meeting today, one of the wives of your father confessed to witchcraft and mentioned your name. Mention your name that they are part of those troubling your life. Find a way to the altar too and be on your knees as you pray this next prayer. Say wickedness program against my life by polygamous witchcraft. That if somebody needs to shout this loud and clear. Make it louder than that, beloved. In the name of Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. 
In Jesus name we pray. Father, I pray for these children at the altar that the decision of the covens against their lives is cancelled now. In the name of Jesus, receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Be set free. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As we pray this next prayer, if you are in this meeting and you find that men are always guilting you, they come to you, you put the whole of your heart in it, they disappoint you. Find a way to this altar very quickly and be on your knees. Men are always guilting you. They show interest, then they say they are no longer interested. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. This is one of the strongest prayer we have to pray here today, beloved. And I encourage you not to be tired, but to pray with fire and with power. Pray with fire and with power. Say, witchcraft power! Assign to waste my life! You are a liar! Damn! In the name of Jesus! Oh yes! Yes, that's it! That is it! Bakasente kaya bo shente rabo kopa rapa ni katanda ka bana sente ya bo shende rabo kola bakaya ba yes 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 in Jesus name we pray Father I'm praying for this your children here beginning from today you shall experience this appointment no more. Right there where you are. Possess your possession. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you are in this meeting now and you have examinations to take and you want to pass, stretch your right hand to this altar here. Stretch your right hand to the altar. I didn't ask you to come out. Just stretch your right hand. Father, these hands that are stretched up, let the spirit of excellence and favor settle upon these hands in the name of Jesus. You shall succeed. You shall be head and not tail. The Lord will give you retentive memory. He will give you wisdom above your teachers. In the name of Jesus. Let this arm be anointed for great breakthroughs and for success. In Jesus' name we pray. Lay that under your head now and keep it there for a bit. Thank you, Jesus. It is well with you. Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Right there where you are, pick a song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the name of the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Any song of praises, sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. How great is that? How great is this? How great is this Lord? Forever they sing. Over the waters of the mighty Red Sea, and he said, I never knew. I will trust in you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Listen to me carefully. All eyes closed. Listen to me carefully. Just stretch forward your two hands as if you want to receive a present. A strange spiritual transaction is taking place now. Some people are being dragged out from the grave to bring back what they have stolen from God's children. Stretch your hand forward and begin to collect it back. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Seven more prayers to pray to put a seal on this prayer. But if you believe the Lord has answered the first session of the prayer, shall seven Goliath destroy our lady? Amen. Bring out your prayer letter now. Raise your prayer letter now. And let your amen be dynamic. Father, in the name of Jesus, we submit our prayer letters unto heavens. Answer by fire in the name of Jesus. Every request we have written on this paper, let them become mighty testimonies in the name of Jesus. Let your power flow into this paper. Let it become mighty testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Put the prayer letter away. Say it has become testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Seven silly prayers before we go now. Because I want the anointing and the fire of that prayer to be on you as you leave this place. From their cage. Be released from their cage. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Every picture enchantment on my life. In the name of Jesus, stand there as a prophet of the Most High God, and I cancel. Masekaya boshendera bokontera ba. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say every problem connected to polygamy in my life. In the name of Jesus. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Satanic anointing of my father's house. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus name we pray every grip of polygamy on my marital life scatter in the name of Jesus 
na strike. In Jesus' name we pray. Two more prayers. Any power reporting me to darkness, shut up. Die. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray like that. Jesus name we pray this is the last prayer which I want you to pray very well any con somebody is over there check the abnormal swelling on your leg dry up in the name of Jesus dry it up in Jesus name we pray silence now all eyes closed silence now there are three persons here i have a message for you from the lord right now it's as if you live from hand to mouth but before the next power must change hand you will count in millions Amen. Somebody over there, you came to this program because the enemy has captured your children. I got news for you. The serpent has vomited them. Someone in this program too. Right now you are under the grip of death and hell. And they have already pronounced you dead. But the resurrection and the life has entered into your body now. Yes. You shall not die but live to declare the works of God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, it is written that your children shall to the hills raise up their head. From thence come their help. The help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Do not suffer their feet to be moved. For if that keeper, they will not slumber. That keeper, to Israel, shall not slumber nor sleep. The Lord shall keep their going and their coming out. No shall keep them in all their ways. No evil shall before them. No shall any plague be in their camp. As you go, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. It shall be well with you. Go from strength to strength. And from glory to glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship.